Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> Here we have it. The winner, winner, chicken dinner of the fan hall. The uh, Perth fan hall of March 2022. This is a Crompton Greaves Limited High Breeze. It's 56 inch um, and it's awesome. I've wanted one of these pretty much since I started collecting. Uh, mainly because they're very rare. You don't see them hardly ever. And um, despite that, my school had like 10 of them. I think it originally had 12, but two of them got taken out. Um, uh, the ones at my school were 48 inch though. Like I said, this one's 56 inch, but um, I'm still extremely, extremely happy to have it. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the original controller with it, but that's okay, because I just use it with a speed, with, 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 with a three speed controller. Um, it would be cool if it had the original one though, but I am planning on making a custom five speed capacitor based control for this, um, as well as hopefully some other fans, but it just depends, um, however many six switches I can, um, afford buying. I'll quickly show you the, uh, stamp on the top of the motor because I quite, um, I, uh, well, I try, I, w I should be doing this in every fan video I make, but here's the, um, stamp, as you can see, Crompton Greaves Limited, Bombay, India. High breeze fan, 1400 millimeters, type BY56, uh, watts at 77 watts, 0.33 amps. Um, the lower canopy just sits here. That's what it looks like under the lower canopy. The ones in my school, the labels are in this part, hidden under the lower canopy. They're not on these stamps. Um, and like I said, they're 48 inch. Um, unfortunately, the bottom of the motor, it was sitting on uh, concrete, and I guess it just got moved around a bit. Um, so the bottom of the motor's kind of scuffed up and missing some paint. Probably going to um, try and do something about that. I don't know if I just try using nail polish or try and respray the bottom of the motor. Just the bottom of the motor because I don't want to um, go over the uh, bands that are on the motor, the pinstriping. Um, there's a bit of paint on the canopy. It's in kind of rough shape, but honestly, that I quite like it like that. There's a bit of paint on some of the blades as well. And one of the blades, the one that's facing away from the camera, um, has a bit of a... Um, crease going across it like it's been bent but still works fine it's relatively well balanced so let's go ahead and start it out on low that's the wrong fan start it out on low it's just on a generic three speed capacitor based control I need to get an amp meter um, hooked in for the fan testing one of these days. That's what low speed looks like on the three speed controller. We'll put it onto medium. That noise is because I have the, um, it shakes a little bit and I have the canopy tightened all the way up against the um, ceiling. So that noise is just the canopy rubbing against the wood that it's hanging from. Alrighty, I'm not gonna retake this entire video. You've seen uh, low and medium. We'll just do a zero to high run. Um, I had to adjust something before it got up to high speed. So that's what that was about. Anyway, uh, zero to high. Again, all that rattling is from the canopy. I should have slackened it off a bit. It's a very good performer, moves a lot of air, and 
over there. It's actually a little bit choppy because I think one of the blades is a bit out of whack. But nice strong breeze under it. Nice strong breeze over. Um, oh, I don't know, about five feet away from it as well, so. Right, turn it off. It's a spin down. I should have done something about those canopies. Decently long spin down. It's not too long like the Mistral, but. And these are aluminium blades as well, so they're not very heavy. Okay, thanks for watching.